Okay guys, I'm at Sephora now, and I'm gonna be a beauty guru today because I want to try the milk makeup products so bad And the only way to justify buying all of it is to make a video out of it So here I am by myself And I'm just gonna be in Sephora for a couple hours trying to figure out what makeup is and how to buy it And I will be back with the haul let's go guys. Come on girly pops. Let's go be beauty gurus together Can someone please remind me to never go to the, the to never go to the Sephora inside JCPenney if I ever need something for a video because they almost never have it. Cue the clips of when I tried looking for that glitter mask and I was so mad that they didn't have it. <laughs> yeah, well, that just happened again, so time to go to another Sephora that is not inside of a JCPenney. <laughs> back and although I'm so excited to try all this stuff I am broke now so please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so that I can break even and hopefully not be poor anymore thanks guys love you I say that I'm broke like as I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru but it's already because I put money into the Starbucks app and I can only get it out by buying drinks so I mean I have to my hand is all swatched up and I swear I have like some sort of weird social anxiety about going out by myself I'm like oh my gosh like I look so young and I'm buying all this makeup like they're gonna think I'm rich like I hate when people think I'm rich like I'm not like I'm poor She's probably wondering why I'm buying all products of the same brand and it's like no one really cares But when she was checking me out, she was like, oh, you really love milk, huh? And I was like, ha, yeah, no, I don't know huh? I also have to make a prom get ready with me video So I'm gonna be a beauty guru for a little bit on this channel, but don't worry guys. I'm not transforming It's still the real Haley here. Don't worry as Jenna calls them the pretty people community I would love to join them, but I'm not sure if I'm certified yet. I'm, I'm trying really hard We'll see if they let me in <laughs> Last time I sat down in my beauty guru area, I did not look like this. <laughs> I'm a changed person. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do my old intro when I was a beauty guru back then. Little known fact, I actually did start as a beauty guru who did makeup videos. <laughs> So this isn't so far-fetched for me if you're new here. It might seem a little off, but it's, it's really not not okay I cheated and I used my own skincare products because I didn't really want to like buy more stuff since I already spent $300 So I moisturized I used the Mario Badescu rose spray because it's my favorite thing in the world And I'm going to moisturize my lips with Carmex because it gives that nice glossy look and I love that nice glossy look You know all right. I successfully put on chapstick. This is going to oh. be a great video also, welcome to the haircut. I officially have a bob. It's uh, very strange. It's so short. I've never showered with my hair um, yet, so this was an experience, and I don't know how to style it at all. So I'm just leaving it wet because <laughs> that's what beauty guru does, right? What beauty guru does, right? What beauty guru does, right? I'm not even gonna try to fix my mistakes when I don't know how to speak because you guys like should understand me by now. All right, let's do my haul. If you don't believe me. <laughs> Here are the literal receipts. I spent a total of... Can you see it? Okay, well just trust me. I spent $292.28. Okay, I'm so excited. Let's just start opening this stuff up. I got a beauty blender, which I've never tried before because it's $20 for a sponge. I never... I just could never bring myself to do that. But since we're doing this video, we're gonna go full out. So I guess this is also like a first impressions of a beauty blender because clearly I'm not a beauty guru if it's my first time using a beauty blender. <laughs> look how beautiful they look in there. This is everything I got. Do you do foundation first or concealer first? I think foundation, yeah. So first up, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love being a beauty guru. Should I just be a beauty guru for now? I got the Milk Makeup Cooling Stick. Ooh, all their packaging. Oh, what the? I love how cohesive their packaging all is. They all match each other, so now I have like a full matching set, which is so cute. And this is supposed to be a cooling water. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. It's supposed to like de-puff. It's um, a little big for under my tiny little Asian eyes, but we're working with it. Oh my gosh, it is really cooling and like it feels like water is going on my face. Oh, the stick is so big for my little face, but oh my gosh, the sun's not out today, so I hope you can see the glow. But like this is really making that glow peek through and I love, love, love the dewy look. Okay, so it does feel very cooling. Um, I feel so weird like giving you guys a review. It feels very cooling, um, a little like not oily, but like a little waxy and just, it feels nice. I like the glow it's giving me right now. Follow me on Snap. Oh my gosh. Who let me buy this expensive makeup? I don't know how to use wow. it. Wow, I love the packaging. This is the milk makeup. Okay, obviously it's milk makeup. I'm doing a review of milk. Okay, this is the blur stick. It comes in one universal shade um, just for everyone. And this is supposed to be a priming type product that like fills in your pores. They have a luminous one and then a matte one. I got the matte one because the luminous one has shimmer in it. And if I'm gonna use it all over my face, I just felt like I would look like, what's that dude, Edward from Twilight? You know, when he goes on the sun and like there's diamonds. I don't wanna look like like that. And 
I don't ever use primer, so um, this is gonna be an experience for me. And it's very interesting that primer is in a stick form because that's not something that you see too often in the beauty community because <laughs> obviously I would know. Okay, do I look any different? Ooh. Sorry, I'm just checking myself out. I can't tell if there's a difference or not. Yeah, don't know. Do I look, I, I don't know. It's supposed to just give like a nice even layer to your skin before you apply product or some people just like wearing it when they don't want to wear makeup. So I guess it looks cool. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. Okay, I got a foundation, which is like very unusual for me. I have not used foundation in years. Even when I was a competition dancer, like I didn't use foundation just because I hate foundation. But this is the Sunshine Skin Tint with SPF 30. So it's not quite like a full coverage foundation. It's just supposed to be a very light, just tint to the skin. And honestly, it just has like a really cool package, so I wanted to try it. This is the packaging. It has a little pump on this end, and it's actually a roller ball. So for foundation, that's pretty cool, and I'm going to use my Beauty Blender for the first time. Oh, shoot. I got it in black because that's what Tana Mojo has. It smells like a, a straight up sponge. This was $20, so I'm gonna go get this wet real quick. Okay, I got it wet. That was a little underwhelming because it is literally just a sponge that I paid $20 for. Okay, so you pump this out. This is, uh, this is a process. Been doing this for a while. Oh, it really doesn't want to come out. Please don't be broken. Is it broken? Ooh, I'm gonna be freaking pissed if it's broken. This thing was like 40 bucks. Mm. It didn't take this long in other people's videos. I'm really kind of concerned. Oh my gosh. I'm getting honestly very nervous. <sighs> Wait, what? There's an expiration date and it's for October 2018. That's like in a few months. What? I'm not gonna use all this by then. I'm not gonna use any of it at all because it's not coming out. What? I paid so much for this. Oh, there we go. I got it. Okay, that took so long. I was starting to get, oh, oh, ah, ah. I barely have any hair, but it's still getting in everything. All right, let's use the beauty blender. I'm so excited. Ooh, this is cute. It's so nice. I'm just gonna, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Honestly, I want to be the genius who invented a sponge that sells for $20, but not gonna lie, I can kind of understand why people buy these. Well, it really is blending in like very quickly. So maybe I'm starting to understand the appeal of these things. And also I really like how this tint is like just blending into my skin so nicely. Like it doesn't look cakey whatsoever. It is a tint, so it shouldn't be. Ah! <sighs> Ew, ew. Okay, for the sunshine tint, I give this a big fat two thumbs up. Packaging was a little sketchy, but now that I got it working, uh, it's a very cute package, love it. Let's just keep it going with some concealer. This is a Flex concealer. It's supposed to be a full coverage this time. It smells like paint, which honestly, I love the smell of paint, so. Also love the packaging for concealer, that's really neat. Okay, 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 wait. Let me not speak yet before I do the other side. Am I speaking too soon? <laughs> I love that. Wow, uh, okay, like honestly, honestly, I've never tried a concealer that I love so much as that one. Flex Concealer A1, also understanding why people love these. Next up, I got the Matte Bronzer in Baked. I definitely have no idea what I'm doing. I guess I'm just gonna use my Beauty Blender to do this because I don't know, oh shoot. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. This is amazing. Wow, it looks so natural. Like, I could really fake someone out by making them think I actually went into the sun. And, like, I haven't seen the sun in months. Thoroughly impressed. Next up is the Lip and Cheek Stick. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna do this one with my fingers because on the website they all just do stuff with their fingers. That looks so natural. <laughs> a little goes a long way with that. I feel like I put a lot on this side. Who knew makeup could be so exciting? All right guys, highlighter. They, Milk Makeup, I feel like got popular for their holographic highlighter. Oh my gosh. I'm in love. This stuff is so creamy. That is so pretty. It almost looks like when you sweat <laughs> and like you get that natural glisten. And I love, love, love nose highlighter. Highlight, so I'm just gonna put some on my finger. I've never been this excited about makeup in my entire life My 10 year old little heart is just like screaming with joy right now next up this product is really cool really innovative and innovative It's called an eye vinyl and what it is is I don't know if you know about that trend That's like the glossy eyelids look this is one of the first I don't know if it's the first don't quote me but I clearly don't really know what I'm doing but one of the first products that is like specifically made to give you glossy eyelids Oh, this feels so weird 
<laughs> I kind of forgot I was filming and now I'm making stupid faces. Can you see it? I feel like it's super subtle, but you can definitely tell that there's like something different going on. I remember growing up watching Ingrid Nilsson and she would always complain about how oily her eyelids are. But who would have thought it would become a trend to have some oily looking eyelids, you know? Now the only other thing I have from them is their mascara, but I feel like I just look so weird without eyeliner, so I'm going to use my own eyeliner. This is their mascara in the color Inked. It comes in a super cool tube and it has a really interesting wand. As you can see, it has some three bulbous little camel humps there and I have tiny little baby Asian eyelashes, so mascaras have to be really impressive for me to like them. This is what it looks like with two layers, and I'm honestly, I'm pretty impressed. I'm not disappointed, but I'm not like crazy obsessed or impressed, especially since this is so expensive for mascara. All right guys, my makeup look is complete with all milk makeup products. I am beyond impressed with this brand. The only thing that I would tell you not to spend your money on is the mascara, unless that really wispy natural look is what you're looking for, but that's not necessarily what I'm looking for since my eyelashes already are so short. If you want a super natural, dewy, fresh look, this is exactly the makeup brand for you. It's exactly what I've been looking for, and I'm so happy that these work so well because I've always wondered like how these beauty gurus make their skin look so nice and glowy. Like I've been looking for that look for so long, so I'm just just wowed away. <laughs> wowed away. That's not a saying, but I am. I really want to do another one of these videos about the Glossier brand because they're kind of similar and they're another one of those really trendy brands that are like natural and glowy so if you want me to try those and you want you would actually click on that video and watch it let me know because I really want to make that so tell me if you'd watch that in the comments down below but other than that just let me know how you liked Beauty Guru Haley and if I should do some more I definitely won't make this like an all the time thing but it is definitely fun to play around with and yeah I'll probably see you in my car soon or eating Chick-fil-a soon so just subscribe for that old content and probably torturing my vagina sometime soon in the future because that's what we've been doing on this channel lately. <laughs> Subscribe and follow my Instagram. Okay, I'll see you guys in a couple days. I don't know. Bye. Oh, you be so kind as to fall in love with me. You see, I'm trying. I know you know that I like you, but that's not enough.